Five H&N investigates trace contaminants in the Pearl Harbor water supply. The Navy says it's not fuel, but some experts disagree. Whatever it is, a team of specialists is trying to figure out where it's coming from. Our Mahalani Richardson joins us now with the latest. Well, tonight, an exclusive interview with one of the engineers on that team who's investigating what's exactly in the water. There's a level of concern there. Chris Waldron is an engineer who represents the Navy Marine Corps Forest Health Protection Command. He's part of a so-called swarm team of more than 20 experts from across the U.S. to investigate the Navy's drinking water. He was also probing the water during the 2021 Red Hill disaster, where fuel leaked from the Navy's fuel tanks and sickened more than 6,000 people. How contaminated was the water? in the various neighborhoods? So the, the, the water based on the testing results uh, in the neighborhoods had very low levels of TPH contamination. It wasn't very contaminated at that, at that time. Since 2022, the Navy has regularly tested the water from homes as part of long-term monitoring. So we've had low level detections of TPH periodically within the system. Even after the water was cleared for people to drink? Even after the water was cleared, According to the Federal Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry, TPH, total petroleum hydrocarbons, describes a large family of several hundred chemical compounds that originally came from crude oil. When we look on a monthly basis, um, you know, we've had low level detections in some percentage of houses. Um, and what over percentage time. is that? Well, the percentage has, has, has increased. Initially, it was around 10 percent and it's kind of trickled up to 20 percent. In the latest round we've had upwards of about 60 percent. 60, 60 percent. 60 percent. Of the homes along Pearl Harbor are getting low level detections of total petroleum hydrocarbon. In the analysis that we performed and again that's why the swarm team was brought together. This map shows trace detections in and around Pearl Harbor, but the Navy and its regulators say the water continues to meet federal and state safe drinking water standards. So the water is safe and it's, it's protective. Is TPH, total petroleum hydrocarbons, fuel? Uh, it can be. It's not one to one. So like, as I said, we can have naturally occurring TPH, so hydrocarbons, um, that is not fuel related. Waldron says he believes it's not water heaters or fuel sticking to the pipes possibly causing the low level detections. But chlorine could be a clue. It's pointing towards the interaction of chlorine in these samples with the lab. Days after the fuel leaks, the Navy stopped using the water from the Red Hill shaft and has since gotten water from Wyava shaft six miles away. We've had a number of samples from Wyava shaft. Um, we've had two low level detections of TPH out of all the samples that we've collected. The Honolulu Board of Water Supply and its drinking water experts disagree with the Navy's assessment. Is total petroleum hydrocarbons or TPH fuel? Yes, it is. It is a, one of the major uh, components of all types of fuel. Should total petroleum hydrocarbons, TPH, be in drinking water? No, it is not indigenous to the environment. It should not be in drinking water. Now that swarm team's final assessment should be completed in two to three weeks. I'm Mahalani Richardson, Hawaii News Now.